Hey guys, it's Colette and Charlie from Vera B and we are now, it's Wednesday and we are now on week four of Plastic Free <laughs> July, it's gone so quickly. It's gone really quick. Um, so we're now on Eco Bathroom and that is a really big category <laughs> we've realised. Yeah. We're... Um, so we, yeah, you we've took, got you so took, much. It took quite a long time like, sorting out the categories yeah. like, for the website. All the products. But, but yes, we've got a lot. I think, I think though, because like, if you look in your house, kind of your kitchen, your bathroom are the biggest culprits. Yeah, for, absolutely. For plastic, like products that are contained in plastic. Yes. And also like products with chemicals in as well. So yeah. Yeah, they probably took me, like the bathroom took me the longest to, to do all the swaps over time. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, so I think that's that's why and there's so many amazing suppliers out there and producers that are making alternatives now. Yeah. So, and we've tried to stock quite a lot of them, but because yeah. we keep trying things and loving them, so they, they end up in our, in our hive. It's growing, it's growing. Yes. So I'm going to talk to you today about um, reusable razors because it's the one thing that A, I get a lot of questions on and B, um, I think, again, there's a misconception that, you know, you're going to cut yourself, um, they're fiddly, yeah. and once you use them, you just think, why on earth did I not do this sooner? Um, because they reduce so much plastic and, and it was around 1974 that um, disposable razors um, came in sort of manufacturing. And they just create so much plastic waste. I mean, when I just think about myself, how many disposable razors yeah. I would have got through in my sort of teens and twenties. That's true. And we used to make mum buy them for us because they were expensive, didn't we? So we used yeah, to always um, make sure that they were on her shopping list. <laughs> They're still expensive. Terrible. And so not only do they save plastic waste, they will save you a huge amount of money because you buy the razor once and then the blades, I mean, we sell the blades um, who is it for two, two pounds, pounds for, five for a blades. pack of five blades which will last you well they last me five months i use a blade a month yeah so and they and and the razors themselves are actually comparable to any plastic razor you've bond that i'm sure yeah like like gillette i mean 19 stuff, about the same. 19 pounds and 60 yeah i'm pretty are. sure that but that's a lifetime of razor you there's no reason for you to have to ever swap buy a new razor um so we've got three different ones we've got they're all exactly the same manufacturer so they all work exactly the same and the blades work across any razor um so we have a uh, bamboo let me hold them that way a bamboo wooden razor there you go that's the one that i personally have um and then we have them in a, a rose gold and a silver there you go um, and they're just really, really simple to use. So I'm going to show you how you would do the. <laughs> You're not going to shave me. I'm are not going to shave you. I might well. Depends. <laughs> oh no! Depends. Did this she demonstration is. before we so, started. So, um, so this is a pack of blades. So you get five blades in here, and I probably should also say that it's a real gimmick. Like when I was researching razors um, a couple of years back, um, it's a real gimmick about having five blades yeah because one good blade is all you need to cut hair and any good kind of a barber uh, will tell you we we'll use one right yeah one. and the, and also it all it does is give it five times more chance to irritate your skin basically yeah. you're instead of dragging one blade over your skin you're dragging five over yeah so that's why people end up with razor burn hairs. ingrown hairs bumps all those like red horrible bumps all that of that get. will go away with just using a no more no more yeah um so this is so your razor comes without a blade so there's no blade in there there you go so um and all you do is you unscrew and it literally is going anti-clockwise you unscrew the top the handle comes off Ta -da. you lift this bit up and then you take your blade out of the box and they come in these waxed paper, wax paper. And when you take it out, you want to obviously lift it out on, on the sides, not where the blade is, if you can see. So the blades are on this side and the other side. Yeah, because they're double-sided blades. Yeah, so. double-sided blades. And then you pop that in and it's got two little holes like that. So it goes in like that. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. And then you put your top back on and you want to make sure with your top that this bit, the sort of, 
serrated, you know, it's not serrated, but it's kind of bumpy, bumpy edge is facing down because that's your safety bit. So that's facing down and then you screw your razor handle back on so it's tight. And then you've got a razor blade in there. Just waiting for it to focus, there you go. And you can see here, you can see there's a razor blade and then this is the safety bit. And that's it, that's how simple it is. And you only need to do that when it needs to be changed. Now everyone is slightly different and they say around a 45 degree, 30 degree angle to shave. But you will find, obviously, you'll put it on your, you know, I always say start on your legs because most of us women are used to shaving our legs. Obviously, yeah. if you're a man, you'd be doing it on your face. But for a woman, um, which is, you know, my experience, um, do it on your legs because sit in the bath or sit, you know, on the floor and just have a little play around with it before you would do your underarms or intimate bits. Um, but you don't need to put pressure because th these are heavier than a plastic razor. So they've already got the weight. So you don't need to add more pressure or anything like that. And you just find the perfect angle for you and you'll start to feel that, that is cutting the hairs. Now you've got, you got like a ball bit on your I know. Like... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do the whole thing now. Oh, okay. You're going to skin... um, but yeah, I mean, obviously you would wet your legs, arms, whatever you're doing. Um, we use a shaving soap. So we have these all in stock. I'm going to show you my new favourite one, the lavender and oh, orange. Yeah, that one's so lovely. Shaving soap. Um, now you'd put a bit of warm water on this, let it soak in for a few minutes, then pour off the excess and then get your shaving brush and then shave, put the on your legs and arms. You just get a closer shave. You don't have to do that. When I'm in a bit of a hurry and I'm like, I want to wear a skirt or my dress, and my legs are not looking the best. Yeah, no, you can just um, use Then you can just use a soap bar or a conditioner bar if you've got a conditioner bar they're really good yeah they're really good um but also i just use this put a bit of warm water in it take out a little bit of my hands and rub it on my ah. legs yeah um so you don't always have to use a shaving brush but i do when i want to do a proper shave just because you do get a cleaner shave um but it it's that simple guys and they're not scary i absolutely promise you you'll just wish you'd done it sooner yeah, no, they're agree? brilliant. No, they're brilliant. That, I, I'm a, I love mine. I've got the bamboo, the wooden You've one like you. You've got the wooden you. one like yeah. me, yeah. Um, but they're just, they really are absolutely the, the best swap. And they will save you so much money. You won't get ingrown hairs and no. irritation. Um, and £2 for five blades. That's a massive selling point for me. Yeah. Because it's, as well as like the, the kind of plastic waste you save, like it just saves you money as well. So it's yeah. a no-brainer for me. And it is really, really simple, guys. And you just, there's <laughs> nothing to be scared of. You're not going to have any hair Well, I need to do the whole thing now. <laughs> right, you, yeah, I'll tell you what, you get on with your shave. Yeah, all right, then. okay. Maybe you could do it off screen. But there you go. That's my, <laughs> that's my, fa one of my favorite. Well, it's probably, oh no, just soap bar actually. Mm. It's, it's one of my favorite bathroom swaps. It's yeah. <laughs> you don't <laughs> yeah. Many. Don't leave like leaving out favourite children. Yeah. Don't do it. No. Um. And from the razors. So um, we. I just want to talk to you quickly about one of the biggest culprits of plastic waste, and that is the humble toothbrush. Now, it's ridiculous. Um, the amount of plastic toothbrushes that are thrown away every year. Worldwide, it is over one billion. That's one billion plastic toothbrushes. They, that's plastic that takes 500 years to break down. They all end up in landfill or in the sea. It's a ridiculous amount, and it can't it can't really no. carry on like that. So, no. and there's just no reason for there's it. No reason, there's no reason because for there is amazing, toothbrush. amazing alternatives. Now, you've probably all seen, heard, maybe you've even got a bamboo toothbrush. Um, but I just want to talk to you about truth brushes. Now, we only stock one bamboo toothbrush. Um, there are so many out there on the market. We've been offered other ones. We've tried other ones. Mm -hmm. We know that there are other companies who stock all sorts. The reason we stock this one, which is the Truth Brush, is because it's the best. It is um, the best. Thanks. By a long way. Yeah. We've tried so many over the years, um, and our complaint was the same as lots of people, that they tend not to be as strong as plastic toothbrushes. They fall apart, the bristles fall out, blah, blah, blah. But these. these guys just keep going. They are amazing. They're made from sustainable um, bamboo. Um, they have 
Now the bristles, let me talk to you quickly about them. They're castor oil, 68% castor oil, plant-based um, bristle. But they do have, I think, 32% nylon. Now, the reason for that is there is no other alternative currently. They are looking, they, I know mm. Truthbrush are very dedicated to researching a truly um, like plastic-free bristles. But they've done their best so far. I think the only other alternative is boar hair, which yeah. obviously is not a good alternative. No. Um, so at the moment, when these guys are completely biodegradable and compostable, but when you go, when your when your brushing days are over with these guys, you need to pull out the bristles, um, and then you can pop them in your home compost or in your bin because they'll break down in landfill as well. Or you can um, use them. You like to use them as planters, don't you? Yeah. So I label, you know, my seeds and my plants upside um, down. My seedlings. Yeah. And put scent. And I use them for kids. Um, paintbrushes after they've been um, after they're when well, then they're looking a bit sorry for themselves yeah. but the, they'll take them a while um they come in these we stock the adult sizes in uh gray green pink and white uh i so think i've got the, at the bottom. if you look they've all got color dipped at the bottom so you can choose different colors to identify different family members they all we also do a beautiful child's one which is like a little miniature version it's very very cute um and it's the perfect size for kids my boys both use these they love them and um, we stock them in yellow and white um but the great thing about these is you can um either niche put their initials on the bottom of here so an elf lysander steve claude and they can identify their toothbrushes like that um they're just great and also actually the paint at the bottom um another reason for them doing it is it stops it going moldy in the toothbrush yes object. Absolutely. So that's another reason they do it. Yeah. Um, and I think they're just incredible toothbrushes. They were designed by two ladies called Catherine and Catherine. Um, one Catherine is a doctor, the other one is a fashion buyer. So uh, amazing combination of um, a mate, like a, a beautifully toothbrush, Practical but and style. beautiful design mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So um, and they I'm, also um, the white and now the grey come in soft. Or oh, they medium, medium yeah. Because I used have to use a soft toothbrush. Um, so on the site, you can yeah, yeah, you can choose whether you want soft or medium. I use a medium. You use a yeah, soft, don't I you? Use so soft, yeah. But um, yeah. So if you if you make one difference in your bathroom, um, Such make it. It's spot. it's a really it's a really cheap alternative to do. Um, and they, they look they, nice. They cost they the same so as a plastic nicer. toothbrush. Yeah. They'll last you just as long, and there's no plastic waste. No. Well, and we also do. Um, oh, the, the bamboo travel, travel cases, cases for them, which you can choose to add if you want to. If not, no, don't worry about it. There you go. That's my recommendation to you for a plastic three toothbrush. Good. Um, right, okay, so we're going to come back tomorrow with yes. some more. Um, we might have two little boys with us tomorrow. Um, I, I just want to say that. Oh, yeah. Can I just show you something really quickly? Um, these guys came in today. They, so I said to Colette, I need a nail brush for my boys because they literally, they look like they've been digging themselves out of a grave. <laughs> like, because, I'm like, what, what is going on? With, how did that get onto there? So anyway, Colette said, I know, I've seen the, they, these really gorgeous miniature nail brushes, like our adult ones, but look, they've each got a different character on them. And they're just adorable. So there is going to be no excuse for my children's disgusting nails no, from and, now and on. And these are completely natural. So bamboo, and then I think it's. Um, I might I yeah. might scrub them all completely over with it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but they've all got yeah they've all oh, got so they've all got little different animals on them. Um, polar bear. Yeah, but they're really really cute. I have to show you them. Very cute. So yes, we'll get them up online. Um, but thank you guys, thank you for listening to us as always, and we hope you know it was useful. Um, and we will come back tomorrow, maybe with two little boys, and we might have tied them up by then and put them under there yeah. in the den. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, or they, they might tie us up. So, so if, yeah, if it's just them, you know what's happened to help. <laughs> They've taken over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you guys, and um, stay safe and well. And we will come and speak to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye.